It's crunch time, guys. We're actually getting things done, which feels really nice. Okay, the hair is officially not not giving what I want it to. <laughs> Be out on the town all day, baby. Friends, good morning, how are you? Welcome back to this vlog. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this vlog because we have like big important things to do. <laughs> Just to catch you up to speed, my sister Jacqueline left from our like sister bachelorette weekend yesterday. And here we are the next day. I haven't reset the house at all. It's honestly like very much bothering me. So I'm going to try to clean the house before we leave this morning. I'm driving into San Diego for my wedding hair and makeup trial. So they asked me to come with obviously nothing on my face except for moisturizer and clean and dry hair. I'm debating if I should like try to blow out my own hair, if I should let it air dry because I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like if they work with just my naturally air dried hair to know if I need to budget in that time to like blow dry my hair wedding morning. I wish they would do it because I'm not good at that. And I feel like it being blown out is the key to it looking good. So I'm kind of thinking about letting it air dry and um, giving them like worst case scenario and seeing what happens. Um, so we're gonna do that today. Why don't, there was something else. Oh, I might go try to drive to a nail salon that I really wanna get my nails at done for the wedding and ask them if they can like accommodate the wedding party because I've been trying to get into contact with them for a long time and they haven't answered my DMs, my voicemails or my emails. And I'm like, there's no other cute, there's literally very few cute nail salons in all of San Diego. There's like two and a half. Um, the rest are all, you know, fine, they're fine, they're normal, but I just want like a cute, like special occasion. Um, nail salon. So I might also drive there depending on time. And tomorrow is my second wedding dress fitting. I'm going to see how the first round of alterations went. And then depending on that, we might make some executive decisions and kind of creatively change things up a little bit there. Super excited for all that. Also, my voice probably sounds really weird. I'm just really stuffy. Um, everybody I know in the whole world right now is stuffy. And we all sound... We all sound a little sexy, a little raspy, if you know what I mean. Jordy gets home from his bachelor party tonight. I think we might have some people staying tonight too. It's kind of up in the air, depending on like when people are flying out. And I have, thankfully, more snacks for everybody because I have my next box from Thrive Market because they are sponsoring today's video, which is also perfect timing. I say let's start with the grocery haul because that's always fun. As I mentioned, Thrive Market is the sponsor of today's video. And I know if you've been around my channel for a while, you've heard me talk about them because I am a huge fan. I've been paying for my own membership since 2018, like way before I ever got the chance to work with them. So they're a membership-based online grocery retailer. I do the annual one, so it's only $5 a month. But the thing is, then you have access to their discounted pricing. So I save like 20, $25 an order as opposed to if I were to go shop in store. And mind you, I'd have to go to like multiple stores to find all these things. Honestly, a lot of these things I wouldn't even be able to find in Oceanside because it's a small town but then it's delivered to me. As always, all of these things for me are gluten-free because I'm celiac and that's another reason I love them is you can sort on their website by like dietary restriction, allergy, preference, keto, paleo, vegan, nut-free, soy-free, gluten-free, dairy-free. You get the point, there's like 70 different filters. And then it just shows you what you can eat. So I love that. So here's what I got this time. I got a lot of new things, honestly. One is a Try These Oat Protein Cereal, because it was gluten-free. I haven't tried that brand before. We'll give it a shot. I love hippies, but I have not tried these sour cream and onion veggie straws yet. They're chickpea based, which is great, because protein. Since we've been in our hosting era, I wanted to stock up on some easy treats to make for people. Gluten-free brownie mix. We also always have s'mores by the campfire and I needed to get more of the gluten-free graham crackers. I always get the simple meal chips, but I've never gotten the farmhouse cheddar. So switching it up a little, having like these healthy, easy snacks to throw in my bag on the go has been game changing for me not stopping somewhere random on a busy day and like spending money on like fast food, if that makes sense. So it's been helpful. These. We go through so many of these. These are my favorite protein bars, the Aloha Chocolate Mint. Also, this is my second time getting these. I really like these protein oats. They're super easy in the morning to just pop in the microwave. Roasted garlic pasta sauce for my edamame noodles. These were an impulse buy because I'm so intrigued. These are cactus water. I got watermelon and ginger lime and it says it um, has super antioxidants, rare antioxidants, digestion benefits, skin benefits. I'm sold, I'm gonna try it. And then I also get things oftentimes for the house. 
um, for Max or for like beauty. And this time I got Max's favorite bully sticks. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can eat it on the blanket. I can wash the blanket. I do still have a link from Thrive Market and it's like the most generous link ever because um, it gets you a couple things. It's thrivemarket.com slash Mikkel Jancy. I'll link it down below. But you get 30% off your first order and there's no limitations. You can order a huge box, like just pantry restock. And then you get a free gift valued at up to $60. And all you have to do is sign up using that link. So it's pretty easy. Thanks to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and restocking my pantry. I have an hour and 12 minutes till my meeting. Saved a lot of time not having to get ready this morning. So I guess let's see how much house reset we can do before then, because then we'll be out on the town all day, baby. T-minus four minutes till my meeting. We got Mr. Robert cleaning the floors, candle lit, downstairs otherwise clean, and Jordy called me, he was like, leave everything else to me when I get home. So I'm gonna take him up on that, I'm gonna leave everything else to him, and hop on my meeting. I'm excited to go to San Diego after this meeting. I think it's gonna be a fun day. Okay, meeting done. Max is so cute, he just follows me into whatever room I'm in. It might also be because Robert the Robo Rock vacuum is still going downstairs. But, okay, I wanted to say, the, the vlog hasn't gone live yet when I thrifted this with Jacqueline or vintage shopped it with Jacqueline, but all of the Instagram comments were so funny. My DMs were like, oh, why did you get that and not the sailboat glasses? I do regret not getting the sailboat glasses. I'm also hosting a baby shower for a baby girl and it's all very like bows and like vintage theme. So I kind of had that in mind when I got this, but let me try to find inspo what I'm picturing. I'm picturing like a tablescape for a girl's night with like tulips coming out of this. Swan vase tulips. But like that vibe on a table for a girl's night? This is almost identical, just a lighter pink and it's vintage from the 60s being sold for $64 on Etsy. And I got mine for what, 15 or something? Okay, here's the final of the trial. One thing is I really want the hair to fall a lot. So I was asking her if I, she could bring like a wider barrel cause um, I either want no curl or very, very little curl. So the hair we'll see, we'll see how it falls as the day goes on. But the makeup I really like. I'll have to like go look at it closer in a mirror and see as well. Um, if anything, I might go a little more natural next time. Definitely just concerned with how this is gonna lay. So we'll see, we'll give it time, but it's always good good to do a trial. And she's so sweet. I really needed to find a bathroom, so I just stopped into Starbucks, but I didn't want anything there. So I got an orange juice to pee. I ran a little water on my hair in the bathroom to see how it would continue to fall. Um, and I'm texting Anna to see like her thoughts of how I can achieve more of, I'll show you my inspo, my hair inspo. That that like super duper loose natural there's one from the front that i really like which that one has a lot more volume anna said yeah definitely think trying a much bigger barrel of a curling iron and then um worst case scenario anna's a professional hairstylist and a bridesmaid so she can help me kind of zhuzh it the way i picture it but i do think that it's getting more and more what i picture like the longer i sit on it and the more i run my fingers through it <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how it continues to fall but the last thing i want to say is I think for dinner I've also been craving lettuce wraps like you know the ones from P.F. Chang's oh, 
so good. We're pretty much out of fresh produce groceries. I might just run by Trader Joe's on the way home, get some produce, get some meat, make some lettuce wraps. It sounds really good for tonight. So I'm gonna do that. Tomorrow I will be back in San Diego again for my dress fitting. So I'm not gonna go ask the nail salon what's up until tomorrow because it's already, goodness, 3.30. I'll be home by 4.30. Okay, the hair is officially not. <laughs> not giving what I wanted to. <laughs> also came home to a lot of packages. One of them is addressed to Mikkel Cersei, and I have no idea what it is. Should I open it? What do we think this is? Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just open this real quick. Oh, funny. Simply Safe sent me something. <laughs> I was like, oh cute, it must be like a gift. No, our, our lock has been faulty. Yay, a new lock, Max. No more getting locked out. Sweet cutie boy. You need a bath. Maybe I'll give you a bath soon. We're both poodles. <laughs> in the matcha bowl so that you can't see how gross the container is. Hey. With a little spigot. <laughs> okay, I just finished getting my makeup done for the day. Kind of with the intent of, I posted my hair makeup trial on TikTok yesterday, and a lot of people were like, you should just do your own so you look like you. And then I was thinking, what would I even do if I tried to do my own makeup? So I gave it a little bit of a go this morning, but I don't have so many things that I would buy, like falsies, and honestly, I'm waiting on a delivery from Sephora right now because my mascara is almost dried out, my eyeliner is almost dried out. I also would maybe get like a little more full coverage foundation and also try to learn more about actual contouring. I don't know. So I don't know if this is even a step in the right direction, but I got a bit of a smokier eye today. So kind of playing around, kind of playing around. We'll see what I end up doing. <laughs> Pulling up to the fitting, there is no parking, so I'm taking a chance and parking in 15 minute. I bet I'll be out in 20, maybe. Um, we'll see how it goes. The parking lot nearby was $15. Flat rate. So, no. <laughs> 20 minutes on the dot. No ticket on my car. Left the hazards on. Highly recommend Kiki's alteration in La Jolla worth the drive. Um, now to go harass a nail salon. By harass, I mean just be like, can you give me an appointment, please? At the grid. Got an appointment for all of us at this spot. Guess what it is next to? I didn't even know that there was more than one location, but it is literally next to a holy matcha. Did, comment if you've been watching since I don't know, maybe like four or five years ago, I took a day trip from LA to San Diego just to go to a holy matcha because I was obsessed with matcha. So now we can get a matcha before and all the girls go get our nails done together a couple days before the wedding, which feels so perfect. And I'm gonna go get a matcha right now and then I'm gonna meet Jordy at a soup shop where we're gonna go shop for a soup for him. Jordy found a jacket he really likes, but they're sold out in the pants because it's like from their last collection. So I think we're gonna take the risk of trying to do custom pants that could take four weeks. And that gives us like four days of wiggle room if it doesn't come in to figure something else out, but he loves it. So that's what we're gonna do. 
We are really getting things done today, guys. Time to get this one altered, which I love so much. This is from Park Fifth, and I shared it on my Instagram stories before. Um, it is like my dream dress just needs to be taken in a little bit. So I'm gonna get this one done at the cheap spot. This girl charges like $15. She's incredible. <laughs> just checking my list. I think the only thing left is to go place an order for Jordy's birthday cake. If you live in this area, Fraser Farms is a grocery store that is super overpriced expensive. Thank you, Thrive Market. I don't have to actually shop there for my groceries, but they have a bakery that does custom cakes and they do a ton of gluten-free ones too. I'm gonna get gluten for Jordy, but I will be getting gluten-free cupcakes because there will be quite a few of us gluten-free ones there. I've ordered custom cakes from them before in the past and they're so good and so quick and the price point is very fair and it's like a little local spot. So if you're ever looking for a custom cake in North County, San Diego, you should go there. But I'm gonna go there. I asked Jordy what his dream flavors are and I gotta remember what he said. He said vanilla with vanilla buttercream and strawberry jelly sounds delicious for cupcakes maybe i could just do the same vanilla vanilla buttercream strawberry jelly cupcakes so everyone gets the same thing all he wants for his big 30th birthday is to have canes fried chicken at our house with friends and hot tub so that is exactly what we're doing um just gonna pick up some canes and get a cake and tell everyone to come over and byob and get the hot tub this is 30 i guess oh and then last thing tonight we have a meeting with the officiant or the officiants because in case you missed it, one of the more unique things we're doing for our wedding is having a husband and wife both officiate us. So we're going to have two officiants, which I think is going to be very special. Um, so we're going to have a meeting with them to talk through the ceremony stuff. This is all just like, it's real. It's happening. All the wedding things at once. Tomorrow I'm not vlogging, but I will also have a spray tan trial to see if I want to do that or DIY, depending on like how it sits for a couple days. I'll update you guys on that as well, but we're just, it's crunch time, guys. We're actually getting things done, which feels really nice. It feels really nice. Sorry, now I'm looking at my to-do list and I'm realizing all the other non-wedding things I have to do, like get a new California license, license plate, voter registration, car registration, all the moving things that I haven't done yet. I might just do that after the wedding. Anyways, let's go get a cake. I just got to Fraser's and trying to think of what I want the cake to say, if anything. I'm kind of thinking just HBD, happy birthday, Mr. Hot Tub. I was like, should I try to incorporate fried chicken somehow? But I think I think calling him Mr. Hot Tub is more on brand. Happy birthday, Mr. Hot Tub. Yeah. All right, we got it. We only need 72 hours. Nothing more humbling than being like, yes, can you write happy birthday, Mr. Hot Tub? She goes, Mr. Hot Tub? <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. I got home to the sweetest and most impressive package ever. Guys, this is Catherine. She's one of our online friends in this community and has been for years and her and her mom watch our channel together. And I got two notes from each of them. And Catherine wrote and published this book. Look at how impressively thick this is. And she was like, we've bonded over our love of like lighthouses and sailboats. And it came in this beautiful scarf. Are you kidding me? I am so impressed. I loved reading a bit of your story in your note, Catherine. And from your mom, Jessica, that makes me feel like y'all have a great mother-daughter relationship. It makes me kind of reminded of me and my mom. Guys, Catherine is 22. 22. What an achiever, girl. I can't wait to read this. Aw, this is so special. Um, Jordy is just giving you an update, reheating dinner for us, having leftover lettuce wraps and sweet potatoes. <laughs> you know, trying to eat some whole healthy foods. Um, we're trying to, you know, everybody, the new year, it's like, let's eat nutrients. That's what we're trying to do. So we're going to have dinner, have all of our meetings. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you, Catherine. I'm sorry. I'm just like so shook by this. I keep staring at this. This cover is beautiful. I'm going to put this out on my desk as like decor after I'm done reading it. I wanted to say thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video. Thrivemarket.com slash Mikkel Jancy will get you those couple of things. It will get you 30% off your first order and then the free gift valued it up to $60. Thanks for coming along with me while I just run a zillion errands. I always hope errand vlogs are uh, interesting and motivating, but then in my mind, I'm like, hmm, I feel like the whole time it's me being like, I'm going here now. I went there. I'm going here now. I went there. 
I have some other fun vlogs coming up soon though that I feel pretty confident on. So looking forward to those. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night.